These are 10 hacks I wish I knew before I started my business. My name is Riley Wilson with Wilson Media. I'm the owner slash content creator. I do business commercials for people and social media management. And today I want to talk to you guys about the 10 hacks I wish I knew before I started my business. Hack number one, remembering people's names. The easiest way to get people to like you is to remember their name. I hate it when people come up to me and they're like, what's your name? Oh, I won't remember that. I'm horrible with names. You are giving yourself an excuse. There is no reason you should even say that. Literally, if you want to remember someone's name, mention it three times in conversation. Hey Lisa, it is so nice meeting you. Tyler, can you tell me a little bit more about your business? It was such an honor to meet you, Kyle. I hope we can follow up soon. Say it three times in the conversation and it's game over. You will immediately remember their name. Hack number two, writing everything down. Stop thinking and start writing. I don't mean stop thinking completely, but I do mean that you need to write down those ideas. Whenever I started my business, I had a lot of ideas and I didn't write them down. So whenever it came time to start rolling, I didn't know where to start because I didn't write down those thoughts. So what you need to do is whenever you have an idea, write it down because you as an entrepreneur need to capitalize off your ideas. So why not write them down? I have a journal right here that I write all my thoughts in. I even have like a cool little table of contents so I can go back and see, oh, on November 27th, I met with John. Number three, people skills are 85% of the job. Here's why you should never just focus on your trade. So you have Chick-fil-A here and the place that has the best sandwich shop in the world. Let's say that you go to the place with the best sandwich shop in the world and their chicken sandwich is just the best ever, but it was really long wait in line. You had to fight the customer to get your order right. Now let's look at Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, as soon as you get there, they have a smile, they're greeting you. It is just like the best experience. If you forget a sauce, they'll put like five in there. That is what you need to be. You don't need to be just then, I am a video editor. No, you are a problem solver. You need to make people feel welcome. Have great posture, smile, keep that eye contact. These are little things that I do to keep the conversation engaging. Hack number four, follow up, follow up, follow up. This is a normal thing that takes minimal effort, but it's the difference between you and the next guy. Whenever you meet someone and you give them your business card, don't stop there. Get their name and number and follow up with them. Doing that shows that you are consistent and you have a better chance of them actually working with you. Once you follow up with someone, the ball is then on their court to act on their behalf. If they're interested, great, but don't push it. Hack number five free to fee. This is getting scary and could be bad for all us video editors, but let me explain. If you haven't heard this term before, free to fee, it's basically that you're doing some free work for someone in order to maybe get more business in return. The problem with this is that you're either putting too much time in for the free work or you're not setting expectations of that free work. So let's say that you go up to someone, you're like, hey, I'll do a free demo video for you. Then they're like, oh great, they get a free video and then the next time they want to work with you, they expect that free video. Instead, set that expectation and do something that won't cost a lot of your time. What I like to do for people is I go up to them and be like, hey, my name's Riley. I do logo animations. Can I do one for your business? They think, oh my goodness, this is awesome. And what I'm doing there is creating value. The Best thing to do to free to feet is to create that value. Once they see that you're creating value for them, then they're like, oh, this guy knows what he's doing. Let me hire him on. Hack number six, networking. Your business will fail if you do not use this. I network all the time with website designers, photographers, anyone that is in the digital field I talk to because somebody could come up to me and be like, hey, can you do a website for me? No, I can't. I'm a video editor. Yeah, I know computers but not that freaking well. So this is a great way to just pass referrals on to people. And if you're passing referrals to people, more likely they're gonna pass referrals to you. But you would be surprised by who you network with and how much you can expand your business by just talking to people. Hack number seven, learning shortcuts. To double your efficiency, try this. As a video editor, I have to know a ton of shortcuts. If I don't know any shortcuts and I'm on my computer 
trying to find, oh, where's the cut button? Oh, I need to right click, copy, right click, paste, all those little things, you can basically double your time. Let me show you. Some simple shortcuts that I like to use is the Q and W button. Basically, whenever I'm cutting something, I don't just cut, 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 select, delete, select, delete, ripple, delete. What I do is I go to the point of the video that I wanna cut and I press Q and it just cuts everything in between. I don't have to press seven buttons. All I have to do is press one. Doing little things like that in your trade can double your efficiency. Hack number eight, don't let them know that you don't know. This is the best way to build your confidence. What I mean by this, if you're in a conversation with someone and they start explaining, oh, I want this in my video, I want that, and you're just thinking to yourself, I don't know how to do all that stuff, do not tell them. The internet is freaking real. You can go on Google and research it, YouTube it. Heck, go on Fiverr, find someone that knows how to do it, and let them teach it to you. Don't let people know that you don't know. Once you do that and you're like, hmm, I see what you want to do in your video, but I'm not the guy for that. Anything video-wise, they're not going to come back to you. So in that conversation, they say, I want to do this. Say, oh, I've heard about that because you literally just heard about it. Once they start talking about it, just be quiet and listen. Whenever you stay quiet, people tend to talk more. Once they leave or you leave that conversation, go research the heck out of that. Find out just the basics of it and then follow up and be like, hey, I've given some more thought about that thing you talked about. You now have more information. Pick back up at that conversation and show them that you're the expert. Hack number nine, finding a mentor. This is the best way to skyrocket your business. It took me a long time to find the right mentor. It seemed like everybody in the video editing world were in different spots. I had people that were either side by side with me, a few steps back, a few steps ahead of me, but not someone that was like well into their career as a video editor. Then I found Dylan Wilson. Crazy story have we met. I'm gonna have to make a video on that. But basically, I found him. I told him about what was going on. He was like, three years ago, I was right where you are. Let me catch you up, save you a bunch of time, money, and mistakes. If someone can help me save time, that is literally priceless. So I set up, me and Dylan have been working together. It's been fantastic. Why would you spend a year learning something whenever you can learn it quicker in three months? I mean, yes, you would have a journey of learning things. I mean, I'm still learning things with a coach, but if they can be like, oh, you need to do this rather than this, that is priceless. Find a mentor. If you have a mentor, tag them. If you don't have one, maybe I can help you out. Let me know in the comments. Hack number 10, community makes a difference. Here's how I became less lonely in the creative field. Yes, my craft looked good, and to everybody else that wasn't a painter in that small town, says, oh yeah, that looks good. But compared to other professionals, what does my craft look like? I found a community through an internship, OKOP, and since then, having that tight net of video editors has been such a great help. If I have any questions, I can literally go hit up someone and be like, hey, Brandon, can you help me figure this out? And then we'll hop on a call. He'll be like, oh, this is what I did. Just a great thing to build that community. You need to find a community of like-minded people. Once you do that, your creativity will just flourish and that spark and that fire that you have as an entrepreneur will just grow. Here are some great ways to get into a community. I am in Relentless Success Club. If you're a video editor and you wanna get into a great internship, check out OKOP. They have some great options. DM me if you're interested. CreatorPad is coming out with a cool application. It's not out yet, but I'll keep you posted. Also, look at some Facebook pages or look at some subreddits. Those are also really great tools and good places to build community. All right, guys, so those are the 10 hacks I wish I knew before I started my business. If you guys have any hacks that I haven't thought of, please let me know in the comments and um, I'm going to be doing more stuff like this. So I can't wait to see what they look like and uh, subscribe, like, comment, share it to your mom, share it to your grandma. They love, they eat this stuff up too. So thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.